Hey loves, I hope all is well. Happy Saturday. Today I just wanted to do a quick topic video on how to clear karmic debt. So if you're aware of the concept of karma, you understand that it's basically a result from your actions. So destiny or fate following as effect from cause. So with karmic debt, it's the belief that every action has a consequence and these individual consequences eventually build up and can affect your future as well as future generations. So some signs that you may have some form of karmic debt, it can be the form of relationship issues, it can be the form of chronic pain or illnesses, it can be in the form of different phobias that you may have or just repeating cycles in your life. There's many different ways to clear your karmic debt and you can do this with prayer, you can do this with good deeds and acts of service, you can do this through forgiveness, letting things go, and as well as breaking certain cycles. So I'm going to go into each one, we're going to talk about it and I'm going to give some tips. So if you're interested, let's get into it. Hi loves, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new, thanks so much for joining me. My name is Tyla and today's topic is a juicy one and I've been waiting to do this video. So today is all about clearing your karmic debt. Now if you have never heard this term, I'm really going to put you guys on today because I do believe that this video can benefit a lot of people that will come across it. So if you are watching this, it is definitely for a reason. So one of the signs that you have karmic debt is if you notice that you have repeating cycles in your life. So maybe these cycles look like you have repeated unhealthy relationships, you have a really bad history with finances. These are major signs that you have karmic debt within that area of your life. When you become aware and you are conscious to your actions and the decisions that you make, as well as the events that follow those specific actions, you will start to see that a lot of what you put out comes back in one way or another. The thing about karma is that it's just a natural way of life and I've noticed this more throughout my life and just seeing certain things that I went through and really going back to think about certain experiences. The thing about karma is that you don't necessarily have to believe in it for it to exist. It's just a natural thing. So if you do have a specific cycle that you're stuck in say if it's a relationship cycle and you notice that you're constantly attracting negative partners or you're constantly attracting people in which you do not resonate with you may have some form of karmic debt within that area of your life now to get really really deep with it not everybody's going to believe in this concept as well but i'm just putting it out there say if you've had a past life and in that past life you have built up a lot of karmic debt maybe you did a lot of negative deeds or you just had a lot of situations to where you accumulated a lot of karma that karma can sometimes pass on into the next life causing you to experience certain things and have a certain amount of bad luck or just negative circumstances to happen to you that's why it's so important to try and overcome the negative patterns that you see in your life so that you can actually move on emotionally and spiritually and elevate Another thing is unexplainable phobias or just phobias in general. You may notice that you have a very strong phobia. For me, for example, mine include like heights. It includes like throwing up. I, that grosses me out. <laughs> but yeah, like those are kind of like my phobias. I do have kind of like a phobia of spiders. I cannot do spiders. But the idea is that some of your phobias may actually have stemmed from past lives. So say if you do have an extreme fear of water or the ocean, you may have like drowned. It's something in a past life. That's just another little concept to throw out there. You do not have to believe in that, but I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> another one is chronic pain and illness. Now, when it comes to chronic pain and illnesses sometimes, this is the tricky one because there usually is a underlying cause, but in some cases, there are unexplainable illnesses or chronic pains that some people have that are unexplainable by medical science. Now, the last sign is a lack of fulfillment. So say if you're just a person that just is never fulfilled, you don't feel like you have a purpose, you just feel soulless or you feel as though nothing goes your way, you just don't feel good about life or yourself, you don't really have a lot of energy or just drive towards anything, that can be a major sign as well that you may have karmic debt. 
Now let's get into the signs so that we can overcome this karmic debt. Now something that I've noticed is that ever since I have started working on myself, started healing and started overcoming my trauma and just overall just doing everything that I can to be my best self and put that energy out as well, things go a lot differently for me in my life. And that's not to say that I was ever a bad person, but you know, we all make mistakes and we all have times where we make bad decisions and we just do things that are reckless and we don't really think before we act at times. And I noticed that my life was a lot more chaotic back then when I didn't take the time to actually stop and think about my actions or when I was a little bit more reckless and carefree as opposed to now when I'm actually conscious about what it is that I do. So practicing good deeds and just putting good energy out is a very, very good way of clearing your karmic debt. A lot of people go out in the world and they put their insecurities, their doubts, their anger and frustration onto other people, not understanding that it's still coming back to them. And even if that may make them feel good in the moment, it's gonna come back around in one way or another. So making sure that you're just being a kind person, that you're being good to people, that you are doing the right thing and you are not getting yourself in compromising positions to accumulate something negative to happen towards you or to do something negative to somebody else. A lot of the time people are not aware of the fact that this is coming back because it doesn't come back in the same way that it happened so if you steal something it's not going to be like oh, okay now you got caught for stealing it can come back in any way that's that's the part too that you have to be very careful about because you may be thinking that you're doing something harmless and that it's not affecting you but in reality it is affecting you practice different ways for you to be grounded enough so that you don't have to put your trauma and your negative energy onto somebody else. Now the next tip for clearing karmic debt is forgiveness and this one is really huge and it's also very hard for most people to let go and to forgive but forgiveness is actually very powerful when it comes to releasing negative karma. When you forgive yourself as well as others for past mistakes and wrongdoings, what you're doing is you're releasing that negative karma and you're also creating a space for positive energy to flow. Something that helps me when it comes to forgiveness is if you do have a certain grudge or just a certain burden towards a situation, what I do is I like to write it out. So I'll write out a letter, say if it's to a person and you feel that you've never got the closure you deserved or you feel you've never really got to speak about that situation, write a letter to that individual but not send it to them, just write it out as if you're writing to them and you're talking to them and you're expressing how you feel. This is a really good way to release that energy and just that negativity that you may feel about that person and so that you can forgive them. Because forgiveness is really for you, it's not necessarily for the other person. So you're not doing it so that you can make them feel good and that it's like, oh, okay, you did this to me, but I forgive you, so I'm gonna let you back in my life. That's not what forgiveness is. You can forgive somebody without accepting them back in your life and without being cool with them, without having them within your energy and your org field. Especially when something is done because you can't necessarily take it back, but what you can do is show yourself grace and allow yourself to let go of the situation and understand that it happened and at the end of the day it is also a learning lesson so it's really a win-win another major way to release karmic debt is by letting go and releasing your attachment to things whether it's to material things whether it's to people places just releasing your attachment when you detach from certain things it does allow you to grow spiritually and not focus so much on the material world or just anything else that does not suit you and your highest good now last but not least another tip to clear karmic debt is by practicing mindfulness so making sure that you're mindful about the way that you think the way that you move your actions like i was speaking earlier and just practicing being in the present moment more often what trauma does is that sometimes it can blur your vision and it can make you unaware to certain things that you do, especially if you're so stuck within that trauma and it's all that you've ever known and you grew up a specific way. You don't always understand and see your actions from a higher perspective, especially being stuck in that habit for so long. That's why healing is so crucial because when you start healing, you start understanding things from a higher perspective. You start looking at certain habits that you have and certain ways that you are. 
in a different light. And sometimes that allows you to see certain things about yourself that you may not have seen before. Certain things that you may come to realize are actually negative and harmful to you or to other people that you maybe didn't understand why it was harmful or how it was harmful. Something that I see often that people say and do a lot is that they'll say things like, oh, I like to get my get back or, oh, I don't like being the bigger person. When in reality, you're just hurting yourself. Even if somebody does something negative to you and it affects you negatively, and it can be in the worst way possible, I understand how bad that hurts and how much you would want to seek revenge and lash out or do something back to that individual, but it's just gonna come back to you. And once I started becoming more aware of this and I actually had to snap out of it and look at myself, I understood that, okay, half of the things that I go through is because of my actions. And even when I felt justified in a specific situation, my actions still were negative. So it still brought me something negative in return. Even if you do feel like you're justified, even if somebody does do something to you and you feel like it was very wrong, that doesn't mean to go out and do something wrong back to them. Now, if you want to, that's your prerogative, but that's not gonna bring anything good for you. To be honest, when you actually let go in those situations and you move on and you just keep doing you, not only do you get more blessed because you're not stooping to their level, you're staying on your vibration and you're keeping up with what you're doing and you're leaving that to God, to whoever you believe in, but as well, that person will get their karma. Like I said, it, you can't run from that. It's just something that happens and no matter how much you think that you can hide from something or that you're slick about something is going to come to the light. Everything that's done in the dark comes to light. And even if it doesn't come to light within a certain connection or individual, it's going to come out to God, to the universe. So there's no way to really run around that. People do get their karma. And when you don't do anything and you just allow God to handle it, their karma is usually nine times worse than anything that you could have ever thought that you wanted to do back to them. So that's just a little tip because when you lower yourself you're just lowering your blessings why stoop to somebody's level so that you can get karma and not receive the things that you will get if you continue to move on and be the bigger person but anyways that is it for this video you guys make sure that you are being conscious make sure that you are being a good person don't be out there just being a menace to society okay but i love you guys so much if you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up share with somebody that you feel it may benefit subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video peace and much love